I want to welcome everyone and thank you uh, for your tuning into this. Uh, this is certainly unique times here that we're facing and I'm blessed to have our founder Dr. John Brachowski here and we're um, we're really exploring uh, a, a few things. What's happening at the hospital, what's happening here at Tepiac, and uh, and what's to come in the future. And I do want to start off by saying uh, also that this we intend this to be a series that uh, you'll, you'll be hearing from Dr. B on a regular basis. You'll be hearing from some other people within Tepiac. And we'll be hearing from a variety of different uh, issues and topics. And some of those we're actually going to ask you to be a part of that and uh, email us uh, any questions or topics that you'd like us to cover. But um, Dr. B, tell us a little bit, what, um, what are you seeing at the hospital? What is, what's life like now under this COVID-19 scenario? Well, um, Will and folks uh, uh, across the video here, I just want you to know these are uh, very uh, challenging times. And at the hospital, um, remember, you're hearing stories coming out of New York that uh, they're being overwhelmed. Well, that's not here at all yet. And it may not come to that here. So we've all been fitted for masks. We have a triage system in place. So far, folks going to labor and delivery have been very well protected and covered from the rest of the hospital. So I just want you to know that the Inova system seems to be doing a great job taking care of the sick patients, who are the least of our brothers and sisters, but also taking care of the healthy, well folks who are just afraid, um, which we understand. Mm. It's, it's certainly wild times and it's really good to hear because I, I think there's a lot of information that's flowing out there and we're never really sure, we're like, all right, what's really happening, particularly within our own region. And so it's really nice to hear uh, what Inova Fair Oaks is doing and, and what you're seeing from your perspective. Yeah. How about here at Tepiac? Well, um, you all have kept us in business for 25 years, uh, thriving. But um, back many years ago, when my wife and I first started this, we were really preparing for these times. And so what uh, Kathleen, our business manager, and um, our whole staff wants you to know is that uh, we're here for you. We're going to stay open because now is the time to serve. Now is the time to care about others. Now is the time to bring real integrated health care body, soul, and spirit, both physically, emotionally, and spiritually, because of the fear factor. We are thinking of new ways here. We are um, wearing masks. We are using a lot, of good, um, um, a lot of good sanitization of our hands. We're doing everything we can to space the six feet distance in the waiting room. We want to make this as healthy and as uh, caring for you as humanly possible during these times. We're also thinking outside the box uh, regarding many of you uh, patients. For patients that might need certain types of visits, like infertility consults or hormonal evaluations or kind of GYN medical follow-ups, we're going to go to telemedicine. Stay tuned. Call the office. Ask them what platform we're using so we can be on the same page. It's this. We are trying to give you real information that's practical at these times. And so, um, Everybody here at Tepiac wants to know that we're here for you. We, yeah. we, we really, these are our times. And uh, we're trying to do faith over fear, um, uh, patience over panic. And uh, we really want to be a, a partnership with you. So in the future, if you are interested in topics to tell us, contact DMC, contact Tepiac whether you want to hear something specific. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to have topics about the effect on pregnant ladies. Uh, right now, just for, just for instance, the small studies, we're getting mixed data. There's not a whole lot of virus found in amniotic fluid of sick moms. So, so far the babies that we've seen in the nation and in the world, they're not passing on the virus mm -hmm. to their infants yet. But that data is evolving, and it's evolving as we speak. Good. I think a couple other things that uh, Tepiac definitely wants our patients to be aware of is that some of these are standard things that we've always had in place, but if you are feeling sick or you're feeling ill, you're, you're, you're showing some of the symptoms, fever, uh, respiratory or, or you know, breathing yeah. issues, that 
you definitely call in ahead of time before right. you actually come and, to the and, office. And, and, and so the two practical things on the phone line yeah. is exactly what you said, Will, and it's what we're seeing. If you're a pregnant lady and you have the following symptoms, a dry cough, a fever, and shortness of breath or chest tightness, you need to call your primary care and go through them because they're your primary care folks. You need to call us before you kind of come into our office so we can help triage you to the best care possible. The second issue is, do you work during this time? So many of our pregnant ladies are asking us, well, that's a decision between you and your husband and your employer and us. Um, it kind of, we have to follow CDC guidelines here. We don't want you to panic, but we do want you to just take good, good precautions, keep your distance from folks, and especially now as the numbers are increasing, um, we need to try to really limit our contact with other people. So those are the two most common phone calls we're getting right now today. So today, the Feast of the Annunciation. Pretty powerful day. Absolutely. Pretty apropos with what we do here. Uh, for instance, today is the story in Luke where that young virgin, single, had no relations with a man, finds out that she's been overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, if she said yes. So she says yes and finds that she's in a pregnancy that's rather unusual. And that changes the trajectory of time and eternity. This woman said yes, where Eve said no, she says yes, and all of a sudden Luke 1 and 2 become alive. And so today here at Tepeyac, we had a family, because of commemorating that day, that time of saying yes to Jesus, to God, with, her, with the whole heart, return to me with all your heart, right, we talk about, she says yes, this family that we have takes their children, all six of them, and goes praise in front of an abortion clinic locally. They text me. They're one of our patients. At that time, there's a young woman here who accepts her crisis pregnancy. She was ready to have an abortion scheduled. She's decided to not go that route. Once again, what was happening in scripture, it didn't mean that it happened 2,000 years ago. It's happening today at Tepeyac, OBGYN. And it's as a community, you're, you're doing it for others. You're doing it not for yourself, but you're saying yes to Christ for other people. That it's really a true act of mercy when you say yes to him. And this woman did it, and as Catholic Christians, we have a feast day. For many of my non-Catholic brothers and sisters, it's a biblically powerful story. Mm -hmm. And I think we really need to think about it, right? Amen. Yeah. And to live this where we pray with our lives. We say yes to him. So um, time kind of it disappears. That Jesus is present right now, and we make Jesus present by our prayer and by our love, and by our love of God and neighbor, and by almsgiving, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want you to know is that we're connected here. And remember, this whole story of Tepeyac was, do not fear any illness, vexation, anxiety, or pain. Am I not your mother? Are you not in the crossing of my arms? Are you not in the folds of my mantle? Is my son not your fountain of life? Is there anything else you need? Well, that's what Tepeyac is right now for us. We're all together in this. What you do at home and what you do with us as we go forward is crucial to building a community at a time of crisis. And so for, for you folks out there, uh, for many of us, it's the season of Lent. And Lent may go a little further this year. Remember, continue to pray for us every day. Pray for us safety, body, soul, and spirit, but pray that we have courage. Pray that we're praying that you stay safe. Number two is, give us your ideas, things you want to hear about from a medical perspective. And thirdly, if you really like what we're doing here, continue to support us. We're going to continue this service, what, once or twice a week. Yep. Please tune in. Tell your friends to tune in. And now more than ever, um, 
we we need to be we need to be praying with our lives for each other and serve one another. I was going to say this last prayer is uh, from a wise woman. We have a lot of data today, but we don't have a lot of wisdom. But a wise woman from Avila once said, I am yours. From birth, I was made for this time. What do you desire from me and for me? Amen. Use that as a prayer as you go forward. Once again, from, uh, from the medical side, thank you so much for tuning in today. Yes. Thank you. And uh, keep tuned in for these in the future. And God bless.